Jack Rutberg, and we're presenting here a remarkable exhibition uh, entitled Sam Francis Distilled. Now, Sam Francis is an internationally recognized artist, and what possibly can we be offering that's a revelation? And I really view this exhibition as just that. The works of an artist so known for color in his works, beautiful, enormous and intimate scale works, but here we have works that I believe are his most nuanced and important works because they are so distilled and show origins that have their roots in calligraphy, in Sam Francis's interest in Jungian psychology and philosophy, and I think that this is a revelation that is so important. What isn't known is that Sam's, or less known I should say, Sam's first exhibition in Paris was all monochromatic works. This is work that Sam Francis realizes its most intimate and nuanced designs. These essentially celestial realms, the works move in and out. It's about the push-pull, the yin and yang of ink on paper. I think these are really the works that Sam would have wished he could have done through his whole career. When one thinks about his origins, his very first exhibition in Paris was all monochromatic paintings. And what's so interesting, and incidentally out of that exhibition, Matisse's wife, bought a large monochromatic painting in black and white. Matisse was someone that Sam Francis admired greatly, the great colorist. Matisse did 750 or so prints in his career. And would you believe he's only did two in color. So the black and white or monochromatic works have its own sort of qualities transparency, nuance, these are things that are quite remarkable that we see in printmaking. Picasso himself did some 2,500 works, a handful in color. So this is perhaps where Sam Francis really lives. And in the 70s, at a time of tremendous success in his work and popularity, he finds home and there's this explosion of creating works in black and white. I suspect that he would have wanted to do even more, but collectors, the marketplace has its demands and desires, and who wouldn't want these magnificent, beautiful, colored works that he was so well known for? But here, we really see nuance that is extraordinary, and I think really reflect the mental state, the creative state of an artist pared down to essentials. So I think that this exhibition of works that perhaps are least known really give the greatest insight to one of the major post-war artists of America and indeed internationally. Uh, one would say that Sam may have been the very first internationally known artist post-war uh, that hails from America. And here we are presenting an exhibition that is both a beautiful statement but also a tremendous opportunity for collectors to engage and acquire works that perhaps have gotten shorter shrift but deserved greater consideration. In achieving these remarkable effects, even in a work such as this, he's used color. He's used four different tones to create this monochromatic work. In zooming in to this image, you'll see an entire galaxy. They have a celestial effect. There's beautiful notions of meditation that's involved here and one only has to stop. These are not images that one walks by. They have their decorative impact, 
but truly engaging these works as one should with virtually any work, spending a moment and delving into it and accessing these are absolutely remarkable. The fact that they're monochromatic deals only with tonal ranges. The addition of color would have had its own dynamic. And I believe these really are the most distilled aspects of San Francis. I think they're magnificent. Within every work in this exhibition, we see this remarkable atmosphere, a, a, a celestial skyscape, perhaps. And it allows us to enter a work and they become remarkable sort of dialogues and meditations. And I think that Sam, above all, involved with Eastern philosophy, involved with aesthetics of abstraction and figuration, really wanted these works to be intuitive and immediate and yet a place that one can pause and engage and lose oneself into. Thank mm -hmm. you.